first of all with regards to um, al hijama al hijama is um, a recommended act and one of the best means of remedy and treatment as it has been mentioned um, in the various hadith the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said the treatment lies in one of three means shartatu mihjam aw sharbatu asal aw lasatun bin nar which means that the, the best means of treatment is the cupping uh, of al mihjam um, or in drinking honey or the branding with fire and wa ana anha ummati and he said i forbid you again is the branding or the treatment with branding branding with fire so he recommended the, the first two treatments which is cupping and the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he himself undergone al hijama the cupping a few times and that is narrated in many ahadith and in fact all the ahadith with regards to the timing that it is not recommended to do on this day or that day or that date these are all weak ahadith and you can do the hijama any day and any time if you want to um, um, there are also some very sound ahadith Jabir ibn Abdullah radiyallahu an uh, narrated in the sound hadith which is collected by Imam Muslim in kana fi shay'in min adwiyatikum khayr fa fi shartati mihjam aw sharbatin min asal aw lad'atin bi nar wa ma uhibbu an aktawi uh, wa fi al-Bukhari he says sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa ana anha ummati 'an al-kay that is pretty much similar to the previous explanation of the other hadith which i mentioned that the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa forbade uh, his ummah again is a branding of fire and he recommended the treatment with um, al-hijama which is simply cupping uh, nowadays al-hijama is something being practiced broadly uh, uh, not only by Muslims but also by non-Muslims and uh, there, m there should be some precautions and measures taken in considerations like you know the personal hygiene and the sterilization of the equipments and not using the same blade or the same cupping uh, cups uh, with other patients to avoid um, contamination and to avoid infection because this is dealing with the blood and the person who does that should be professional you know it's best if it would be done by a physician uh, I personally know that many physicians um, they specialize in this field and they have a long waiting list of clients because it's a, it's a big relief and many people like those who have migraine or lower back pain or they, uh, they complain of um, allergy especially in certain seasons cupping is an amazing treatment if you have tried all the migraine medications and it's not working, why don't you try cupping? Um, I personally have done it to myself, done it to others, and I assure you it's a wonderful treatment. Not because we've done it and it does work, but simply because also the Prophet ﷺ recommended that if you need it. Barakallahu feekum.